Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Delicious in Dungeon episode 17. Last episode was super good as we kind of got a, kind of got all of our characters gathered together in one space. It was a really good episode and Lyle's revealed to Shudo and Kabaru uh, and the, and a couple other people that they used black magic to revive Falling and uh, Shuro did not like that. However, I still stand by the fact that it was the only way to revive her and uh, I believe he would prefer her alive over dead. That is just my opinion, and I'm sure he will come around uh, to the idea. I, I, maybe he won't come around to it, but he will come to accept the idea that they had no other choice. So that is my opinion on that situation. At the end of the day, it was a great episode. We got all of our main players kind of in one area together, and I'm, I'm super, super excited to see how that plays out in particular. Uh, but as a whole, I don't think I have too much uh, too much other recap uh, recap to do. So we, we we will see we will see where this episode takes us. Everybody's been saying this is where the real delicious in dungeon starts, and I'm super excited to see how it all plays out. Uh, so per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description for both of those. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, and past manga, and have non anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now without further ado, stop straight into Delicious in Dungeon episode 17. You guys have been hyping up this episode, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. I did also have a theory that I'm gonna say again, because I do think I'm onto something. That uh, like harpy bird looking thing, the, the title of this episode is even harpy, so I think my theory last episode was right. If it is, I'm gonna be so fucking happy that I got that theory right. That Falin is that harpy that's in the ending that stands above the Mad Mage. If I got that right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be super happy that I managed to, to pick that out in the ending. With what little bit we saw of her at the end of last episode. Uh, but that's just another theory I tossed out there. Laos, all you gotta say, I know, Laos, I know, I know Laos sucks at communicating with people. I know, I know. That is a point of emphasis they have made in the series. All Laos has to say is, would you prefer her alive or dead? And he will have no answer for that. Because if, if he says alive, then he's condoning the magic. If he says dead, then there you go. Then he has a right to be mad. Since you're just standing there with the food. Yep, Shiro didn't want that either. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm interested that Kabaru is taking Laos' side here. That's very intriguing. That, that's low-key not what I was expecting. And Kabaru just assisted Laos there because obviously, as we've learned, Laos and Kabaru are kind of foils to each other in the way that Laos is super uh, knowledgeable about monsters and how to kill them. And then Kabaru is super knowledgeable about people and how to kill them. Uh, and he knows how to talk to people and whatnot. So he was able to coerce Shuro into not being mad at him anymore uh, because he made him realize that he would have had to make the same, same kind of decision, basically. I, I, I appreciate the assist from Kabaru there because I don't know if Lyos would have, would have been able to talk his way out of that situation. Yeah. You just gotta get used to it. <laughs> you never will. You never will. Oh, damn. He's backing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you ended up going with Senshi and that was the wrong call. <laughs> A little tired is an understatement, honestly. It's just the fact that Lyles doesn't even really understand what's wrong. That is how disconnected and, like... Uh, what is the word that Kabaru used in a couple episodes ago? What, what was the word he used to describe Laos and uh, Falling? They're, it's not that they're uninterested, it's that they're... What, what is the word for being, um, like you don't care either way? Like you, you just don't care at all? Like it's not that you have any malice towards them or any... You don't have any feelings at all towards them. Like that, the, whatever the word is for that, I'm not, I'm not sure why it's slipping my mind. Um, cause Kabaru used a very specific word to describe them that I think perfectly describes them. It's just that he doesn't care to learn about people. Like he just doesn't care. He's indifferent. There you go. That's the word he used. Sorry. I couldn't think of that for a second, but indifferent is the perfect way to describe Lyos in this experience right here that we're seeing right now, where he like just 
clearly just doesn't understand very well uh, because he thought Shiro would understand um, really shows that his indifference to people. Like, he literally says, I must have messed up. Like, he doesn't even recognize, like, what exactly caused him to blow up. What on earth? Jesus Christ. My God. Do those things have tits? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Well, it seems like they're handling them. Yeah. Kabudu knowing might be a problem. <laughs> like how the harpies are just being killed all around them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shiro's not going to tell anybody. Because at the end of the day, him, him falling being revived, he will come to accept it. Whether it, it causes the end of his relationship with Laios and their party, whatever it may be, he will come to accept it and he's not going to rat them out either. Um, but who knows what Kabadu's going to do? <laughs> who has any idea what he's going to do? I don't think he's going to tell anybody either. Specifically because he wants to see what's gonna happen like he is very toned into this story now And honestly that reveal only just made him more intrigued to see what's going on So I don't think he's gonna tell anybody either. He'll just kind of stick around uh, figure out what's going on <laughs> Yeah, I really won't Oh my god Whoa! That's falling. That's literally falling. What the f- Whoa! What is happening? That girl just got dropped dead. I understand the revival magic is like, you can revive people, but that's still jarring to just see one of Shiro's people get dropped dead right in front of them. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is falling. That is literally falling. Oh my god. Oh my god. And she's just killing all of them. Oh my god. Dude! The it's so cool! Lios! <laughs> oh my god, Lios. Everybody else is probably freaking the fuck out, like, what is wrong with falling, whatever it may- Or, like, every, everybody's freaking out, and then Lias is just like, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, God. Also, the harpies do have tits. Cool, I guess. I mean, you can clearly see it here. It's a little too greedy. She might just be coming over to kill you next. <laughs> Look at Laios! Laios and Shiro are just fucking stuck in place. Oh my, Laios is here thinking that's way too cool, and Shiro is here thinking, what is happening? And and Senshi's still carrying the food, and then Folly, or not Folly, uh, Marciel's over there freaking the hell out. Dear God, what is happening? <laughs> this picked up so quickly. Yeah, um, he, she is currently killing all of your friends. What the hell? Oh my god, they landed two good hits there. Jesus, what is happening? She literally just blasted that chick's head. There is so much blood and death here. Like, more than we probably experienced in the entire series. I know we've had some bloody moments. I know we've had gory moments. But this is just a calamity of people dying really in really quick succession. Holy shit, she's dangerous. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Oh my god. Oh no! Yeah, that did not work at all. She can't even- she's about to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's literally choking her out. Yeah, she just killed her. Literally just killed her. Whoa. 
Yeah, why did you just spawn the Noondane? Yeah, right now that's not falling. Right now that's that's not falling. Maybe we, maybe if we damage her enough and knock her out, then we can start talking. But you can't just not hurt her. She's gonna kill everybody here if you just leave her be. I get what you're thinking, Marcial, but she can use magic too. Yeah, this is a problem. Falling is a giant harpy creature, and she can also cast magic? How do we beat her? We- <laughs> Jesus. This is a bigger threat than, a dr than the dragon, because she seems more conscious than the dragon ever was. Oh god, yep, okay. And he's dead. Jesus Christ. What is happening? What is happening right now? She has killed so many people. In such quick succession, so many people have died. Is she gonna try and shock her? There you go, good hit, good hit. We don't have much of a choice right now, but to just try and knock her out. This whole time he's been saying, never trust a monster. And here's falling right in front of him. You're kidding. No way she's got memories too. Oh my god. So th that's clearly the creature inside of her using her memories to influence Lyos. That's clearly what's happening here. Like, that that makes the most sense. It's like this creature has taken over her, but they're sharing, this, uh, they're sharing the same body. So obviously it's going to have access to her memories so it can use them to manipulate the people around her so she can kill them. Oh dear god. Oh good- Jesus Christ! Oh my god! No way she's still alive after that! Good shit, Lyos. Lyos woke the hell up. Then you'll all be dead for sure. Oh my god, is Kabadu even a lot? For the love of god, what is happening? Everybody and their mother is just casually dying right now. Yep, so sounds about right. We got the whole group together. We were gonna go try and find Falling, and now Falling is here, and she is actively killing literally everybody. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? This is such a crazy turn for this series, but I love it so much. Oh my god. She's still alive after all that damage she took. Oh, well, ripping the shirt off. <laughs> Well, the harpy form is coming out. Oh my god, she's gonna use magic. Is she healing herself? Whoa! Oh my god! Christ. And she's still just casually walking around after that. Oh, she flew- oh, she's getting out of there, yeah. She took too much damage. She took too much damage, so she's getting the hell out of there. Alright. Well, now it's- Since she's still carrying the food! <laughs> no! <laughs> that is not real. That is actually not real. Since she's still being there carrying the food is actually the best thing ever. That is- That is genuinely the best thing ever. Well, now we got- Jesus Christ. Well, it's time to get to reviving, people. Oh my god, we have so many to tear through now. Yeah, Marcial, you're gonna have to pitch in here to revive people. Oh my god, the cut in the back of his head? Jesus. I, I, I love, I love that, um, that Kaburu was able to step in and use his knowledge of killing humans to deal major damage to Falling. He slit her throat, stabbed her in the heart, and then I think stabbed her 
somewhere else. I think he said the kidney. Like, he stabbed her in three, uh, like, uh, uh, mortal places. Like, you getting cut there, you're dead. Uh, so, that was very cool that he was able to shine there. And the re that's the only reason she left. Otherwise, she would have stayed here and kept fucking us up. The only reason she used that big magic and left was because of the damage that Kabadu did to her. Yeah, hello. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah. That was the mad mage doing that. Yeah, that's that's literally bar for bar what happened. That is literally bar for bar what happened. Oh, dear God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That is, that is the only way to do it. Oh my god! Damn! Let's we'll just slap this shit out of him, and yep. Should have seen that coming. Whoa! We're throwing hands now! <laughs> that makes us more serious than you. That is a crazy thing to say. Oh god, yeah. I had a feeling another punch was coming. Damn. We're fighting each other now, huh? <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god, he's pulling the ponytail! Oh my god. What's the point of having a mouth? We really don't. Three missing? 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 When did people go missing? What? What people went missing? What? I, I'm sorry. What people went missing? What? <laughs> okay. I, she, by missing, she might just mean they got scattered around the battlefield. Hopefully it doesn't mean they got taken or something. The fact that Senshi is just still carrying the plate of food is insane to me. Yeah, nobody seems to trust Marcial anymore. <laughs> Aww. Uh, so there's some of the missing right there. Oh my god, fighting more of the fucking harpies. Aww. Oh, these two just still beating each other up. <laughs> Should have had been eaten enough. Uh, damn, that mixed with blood cannot taste good. Are we finally gonna get a heart-to-heart -heart conversation between Lyos and Shudo? They're, they they seem to not have been on the same page at all this entire time since the beginning, given their conversation they just had. Oh. I love how our party was the only ones that didn't die. Everybody else's party got beat the fuck up and most of their parties died. If not all of their parties. Actually, no. Shudo didn't die in his party, and the one gnome guy didn't die in his party. Those are the only two people from the other parties that didn't die, and our party was just big chill, and none of us even really got injured. <laughs> Damn, he's like a different person the second he got some food. Oh my god. This man, Shudo, was smitten with her. Oh my god. <laughs> From where he comes from, it's normal. Damn. That I envy. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's all over. It's over, finally. What, what, what was this episode? Oh my god. I loved that Laos and Shudo were finally able to have a genuine heart-to-heart -heart after all the shit they just went through it took all of that for them to finally have a heart to heart with each other and get their grievances out, grievances out about each other and i don't think realistically lios's take was more comedy based than anything about how he hadn't eaten but shudo all the complaints about lios were valid like i, I agree with lios that shudo should have told him earlier like 
keeping that to yourself does no good for anybody. You're just going to let those feelings fester and whatever it may be. But uh, but uh, I agree with Shoto's points about Laios and, and uh, every, every, all of the denseness and everything that he brought up. Those are aspects of Laios that Laios could do with fixing. No. His pupils are dilated. Yeah, he's having fun just talking about this. None with his level of knowledge and marvel. That's a crazy claim to make. Oh, not sorry, not marvel, mo motivation, but yeah. None with his level of knowledge, knowledge of the monsters. Laos is incredibly knowledgeable about the monsters at this point, and he only continues to learn more, uh, and his motivation is through the roof right now. Yeah. Gets the dungeon. Oh, gain everything in the kingdom. Yeah. Gain everything of the dungeon. Yeah, and Kaburu himself said he didn't want that. Given all of Lyos' ineptitudes uh, socially, he did not want that to be the case. Lyos and Falling together. That's a really good question. What will Lyos do? Yeah, it's time to actually eat after- Finally, we get to actually eat the food that was made. Can we give Lyle some healing magic, or is he just gonna stay beat up? Harpy egg omelet. We stole some harpy eggs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I have no choice but to kill him now. Yeah. It's actually going to be good, though. <laughs> Why was he keeping the food away from Marcial there? Chill chick just keeping, keeping it away from Marcial. Good thing we all ac actually get to eat now, finally, after being nearly killed. We all finally get to actually eat some food. Whoa, that's cool. You, like, paint an exit. Oh, so everybody's leaving. Even Kabaru's group's going back to the surface. I wonder... I hope we'll see them again. I, I hope, I do hope we'll see. I have a feeling we will. I have a feeling Kaburu is not just going to leave, uh, leave and, um, uh, just let this play out, but who knows, he might. Obviously, our party four is going to continue, and we might never see Shudo again if he goes back to his home place, or if he goes and explains to the elves what's going on. I'm not, what goes on in the surface after this is probably going to have some big implications for later whenever we end up dealing with the falling, falling situation down here. Oh, shit. So if they... So, okay. That that makes sense. Shudo is going to the surface. He's going to tell them what happened. He's going to tell them of the use of black magic. And if Lyos and them can't come to the surface because of that black magic use, then ring the bell. Shudo will bring them to the east where they can live happily. After they save Falling, of course. But at that point, Lyos might be running the dungeon. At that point, Lyle seriously might be running the dungeon. He might own the dungeon at that point. The highlight of the trip despite dying. <laughs> yeah, Kabudu's got some interesting intentions and he's clearly coming down. Yep, now just the, it's back to just the four of us again. That's <laughs> vulgar. The the uh, tone has kind of uh, gotten a little grim with our group. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back to our our comedic ways shortly. But yeah, things got a little um uh, down within our group for the time being. <laughs> uh, I still I still can't get over how crazy that episode was. That was insane. Everything about that episode was crazy. Yep, there's falling right there. That is that is literally falling standing over the the mad mage. That's crazy. I can't believe I called that last episode. I mean, Jesus, what an episode. That was so good. That was so- that was definitely one of my favorites of the entire series. It, it, it's up there for sure with my favorites of the entire series. That was so good. The reveal of Falling and just her massacring everybody super quickly. Like, oh, oh my 
god, that was crazy. The 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 twist of like one of the one of the girl ninja's bodies being dropped, and like I, at first you think it's just a harpy being taken out, but then uh, both Marcial and Chilchuk look over, and it's one of their dead bodies. And you look up and you see falling. That was crazy. That was such a good episode. The animation popped the hell off. The storytelling was so good. Lyos and Shudo got a moment together where they finally reconciled. A lot of unsaid feelings that probably went on for a while. Uh, just, just overall, very, very, very good stuff. Um, and, and, and we got Kabru who said next time, so clearly that's not the last time we're gonna see him, which I appreciate. Uh, I, I do hope we get to, we get to see him sometime in the dungeon again. But my one thing is that Shudo is going to go tell the story to the surface. If they learn about the black magic, they're gonna probably ban them or send out someone to arrest our group or whatever it may be. But if Lyle's and then defeat the Mad Mage, Lyles gets the dungeon, and he gets control- that, that's what the fable says at least, that's what the tale says at least. So, it, that could be totally wrong, but that is what everybody believes, that when- if you beat the Mad Mage, you inherit the dungeon, inherit all the monsters, whatever it may be. So, Lyles will run the dungeon at that point. What, what's gonna happen then? If that happens, I, I, I don't know. I'm very curious to see what would happen in that situation. But overall, this is a phenomenal episode. Like I said, it's probably, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite in the entire series. Uh, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, but I think it is going to wrap it up for my reaction to Delicious in Dungeon, episode 17. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.